Hello. Uh, today I kind of wanted to do something a bit different um, in terms of what I'm going to talk about. Um, uh, from a title, it's uh, about Shark Week. Now you're probably wondering, well, this is a series about, you know, movies. Well, I think for TV and other things of that nature, I um, can't talk about that because some of the filmmaking techniques for movies can be used in, you know, <clears throat> television, and that definitely goes with Shark Week, like, uh, I wouldn't say Shark Week, you know, it's an annual event, I wouldn't, I don't think I would say they have episodes exactly, I think it, a more appropriate thing would be, like, there'd be specials, perhaps documentaries, but in any case, I just kind of wanted to talk about how, you know, it's been 31 years of Shark Week, um, I know at the moment they're saying it's the 30th anniversary, but um, last year, I remember, underneath uh, a bunch of commercials, they said it was uh, you know, 30 years of Shark Week, 1987 to 2017. Though they didn't really seem to make a big deal out of it, about it, which is interesting, because I remember um, 10 years prior, in 2007, they made a huge deal about the 2000 about the 20th anniversaries in 2007, and they had a huge, like, this box collection of DVDs. Now, I have I have that collection, but it's uh, put away somewhere where it's, I can get to it, but it's not as accessible. I have some of the newer, some of the newer stuff here. Um, uh, Jaws of Steel, collect, Steel Collection. This has a like a, a very good uh, uh, episode, like a, well, they do call it episode, but, you know, some might not like to call them episodes for whatever reason. Uh, documentaries, I think, is still fairly good, or specials. A very good, uh, like a special about uh, the 1916 attacks in the set called Blood in the Water. Have other things like a, Right, appetite. So also, this set has also um, uh, Survivor Man, uh, Lester Out. He he has something in this. It's pretty cool. And I also uh, then have uh, Restless Fury. It's a two disc set. The other was three disc. It's also there. Oh, here it says two disc. And here is the 25th anniversary collection. Um, you know, it has Ultimate Air Jaws, uh, Blood in the Water, the Shark Week special of Mythbusters, um, Great White Uncaged, and um, 2012 is when this came out, which was the 25th anniversary. Uh, and then I have uh, Ends of Fury. Basically, for quite some time since uh, 2008, they've had the previous season or previous years, all of their episodes. Like uh, 2008, they had Oceans of Fear, a collection with a documentary of, of uh, the USS Indianapolis, which was very good, uh, very uh, well, in, as in-depth as a, a two-hour uh, episode could be about that topic, um, with interviews of survivors uh, of the Indianapolis. Um, and that was part of the 20th anniversary also, but, you know. Uh, so this, last night it started off, um, Shark Week did, and uh, at Shack, uh, which was I don't know. It was, I don't know how people really reacted to that. Um, the cage was quite interesting to see. You know, very big to fit. You know, uh, shack in. And, uh, I don't know. It seemed to be kind of going more for like uh, comedy. And they said some basic stuff. You know, 
that if you've watched Shark Week, you kind of know this already. Other specials episodes in previous years have essentially addressed this, but I don't know. I also think they kind of try to make Shaq look stupid just for the sake of it. Like, oh, it's a learning experience. And he's like, he's like, the whole thing was he was afraid to go under the water with the sharks. Um, now, that could have been an actual genuine. feeling he had uh, prior to this when talking it kind of just but hey let's just go with that um, I don't know I don't know the whole behind the scenes of that um, but it was an interesting thing to see uh, regardless um, some of the other stuff they've had it's pretty cool Here, Wikipedia, yeah, they say 88. Weird. Keel and I don't know. It's a. Uh, Shark Week is interesting. Uh, the last few years, I know people have had a lot of mixed uh, reactions uh, to the series or to this thing like with that Megalodon episode in particular you know, that got a lot of controversy um, understandably so um, I didn't mind that episode but you know the disclaimers they had it's like they just appear and disappear real fast and it's just like wow I don't believe that's ever that episode in particular has ever come on to Blu-ray or DVD. At least not to my knowledge. It could have, but uh, I don't think so. Um, it's none of it's none of the uh, sets I've got. Um, but you know, hey, does it mean that there isn't some release of that already? I mean, it, they did a mockumentary. Now, if you wanted to try and, you know, uh, see and hypothesize if, you know, Megalodons could be alive, then people might be like, oh, that'd be an interesting concept. You know, it's dead, you know, all that, but who knows? It could be interesting to see. Uh, see what evidence of possibly supporting the shark living, as well as the obvious refutes of it being deceased, like the food supply, you know. Uh, it mostly is essentially gone. Um, so, yeah. It's one of those things, it's like, I guess they, which is weird, like they didn't really need a boost in ratings, you know, Shark Week has always done fairly well. I don't know. Um, they just they just decided. Hey, I guess it'd be a fun idea. Be fun to try this out, but well, people didn't re react to it very well. They didn't really seem to enjoy that or enjoy being misled into an actual documentary when it's really fake. Um, and I don't. Blame those people. Like the seriously, it was like like one two seconds is how long that disclaimer at the very bottom of the screen lasted, and it's like wow, really you're you're really trying to bake on people being like just watching and being like oh well, yeah uh, yeah I saw that I read it clearly yeah I knew it was fake no I mean there's some people who enjoy Shark Week, but are going to watch this and they're like, wow. Yeah. But another reason I thought about doing Shark Week is because, you know, hey, uh, Jaws, you know, 
in a way, helped with Shark Week because, you know, because of how, because of Jaws, the reaction of that, people thought sharks were evil. And uh, they're like, well, you know, we need to try and combat this and say sharks aren't, you know, evil. And um, since 1987, they've uh, they've done well. And again, it's weird for so many years until like recent, like this year. Shark Week has been said to have established since 1987. But, uh, now it's 1988. Um, well then, how come you didn't, uh, correct that night, uh, last year? I remember advertisements, commercials, says 2000, or 19... Uh, 87 to 2017, you know, 30 years of Shark Week at the bottom. Up until, like, this year, or maybe even last year, they said that. It's just, it, it, it was from 87. But it's so weird, it's just, it's odd. Now they're changing things. They're trying to change history like they want, want it to now be in 88? Like they premiered? Or what is it? Uh, or was somebody just... Did they screw up and had like a typo? Unlike the website or wherever the official... Uh, uh, listing of... Apparently, the apparent history of... Of Shark Week. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, uh, I always enjoy Shark Week. I like Shark Week, you know, depending on whenever it actually premiered. Just so weird that it's now this year's the 30th anniversary when last year they said it was. Even though they didn't really make a big deal out of last year, I guess they didn't know what to do last year to make it special. But, you know, hey, I don't, uh, I don't know. But, it, you know, Shark Week's cool. I like Shark Week. So many other people like Shark Week, or love Shark Week. I actually, it would probably be best to say I love Shark Week, you know. I just enjoy learning about sharks. Though with the, uh, there's been so many Air Jaws stuff, you know, it's kind of like, uh, after a while, uh, I don't know. I mean, I like seeing great white sharks jump out of the water, don't get me wrong, but it's like, wait, can't we do something a bit different? I mean, you know, I don't know. Let's look at some other things. Focus on some other sharks. Maybe tiger sharks, more bull sharks. You make a bit. I like the great white, don't get me wrong. Uh, I really do, but it's like, seems like a default thing when I guess they have no other ideas of what to do for Shark Week. They, uh, <clears throat> you know, they just do like an air jaws thing something similar to that, if, not, if they're not going to call it Air Jaws, it's going to be, might be something similar. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on Shark Week. I love it. I love the DVDs and Blu-rays they put out of the series. I guess now, I, uh, how about you get some stuff straight? Uh, is last year the actual 30th anniversary, or is it this year? Or maybe you're trying to compensate by saying it's the 30th anniversary this year for not doing it last year, even though everything prior seemed to indicate uh, it began in 1987. And, uh, yeah. 
it's just it's just strange that they're they've changed that. I know I kind of harped on that a little bit too long, probably, but I don't know. it's just weird. It's something that just kind of piqued my interest as to why they did that. I don't know why. Maybe we'll never know why, and maybe they'll eventually change it back and say they were wrong about this being the 30th anniversary. I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, that's all I. That's what I've got now. Uh, hope you'll enjoy your week. Hope you'll enjoy Shark Week if you're watching it. Um, and yeah, that's really all I've got to say. Uh, see you all. And then next time, I think I'm going to talk more about sharks, because it's Shark Week. But something different. You know? Maybe shark movies. Because there's a lot. And most aren't good, but, you know. I'll talk you, I'll see you all next time. Talk to you all next time. Yeah, uh, whatever. See you uh, in the next episode, the next video.